What's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I'm great. And this Justicia is very thirsty all of a sudden. I just watered it a couple days ago, but I guess not quite enough, so I need to do some watering. I actually have a lot of things I need to do today. Tons and tons. It's supposed to get really cold tomorrow. The low is 17 degrees. So the that fun 60, 70 degree warm spell we had is over. And uh, winter looks like it's here. So I need to do some watering. I am going to water with the hose today. Except for the orchids. So I need to fill my buckets up with the aquaponics water. Water my orchids. And then I'm going to open the garage door up, because it's about 50 outside, give the plants a good watering, and then refill this aquaponics tub, because it's low and the waterfall's making all kinds of noise. And when the water gets too low, the Nepenthes doesn't get the splatter. I have it right there, because it gets, like, just a little bit of splatter, and it was really loving it, but when the water is low, it doesn't get it. I also need to cut off its old pitchers, because it's ready to drop those. So I guess I'm going to get going... These guys have already had a very, very, very heavy feeding. I mean, I feed them lightly. I give them a small amount of food, and then I wait a few minutes, and I give them more. This chunker right here, you see him? He is so chubby. The rest of them are okay. It's just that one. Very chubby. I put a circulation pump in here a while ago so that they kind of have to fight the current a little bit, keep them physically fit, but... Man, he just... Poor guy just doesn't have the metabolism. And I'm feeding a food that's very low in fat. I do alternate their food, though, but I'm out of the rapashi, which is the soil and green, which is an excellent food. It's soft. They digest it very, uh, uh, what's the word, efficiently. And the person I get it from is out. So right now they're getting hikari pellets, some nori, and I give them occasional broccoli and zucchini and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's why neither here nor there. So in addition to all the watering... Some of this I'll get to today, some of it tomorrow, some of it later in the week, I don't know. But it's going to happen in this video. I also have some Christmas lights I need to put up while it's still light outside. So, going to do that. Oh, and I need to film a video. So, busy day. My favorite kind of day. Oh, and I almost forgot I got a new desk. This is where I'm going to be filming my videos all winter. And it is nifty because... It folds up. I'll show you. When I got this, it made it look like the top was on a hinge, and that's one of the main reasons I got it, but it's not on a hinge. So it's not quite as simple as I would like it to be, but... And so this is what it's like when I'm not using it. Yep. That's all. Okay, back to work. Alright, 17 degrees is definitely cold enough to cause some problems, so... Uh, shut the water off. Hey, needle palms. These things are getting huge. Finally. Still have the windmills out here, but they should be okay. I'm not too worried about them. Need to lay them on the ground. Now you, are you off? Yep. Right? Good. Good, 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 good. Done! I'll throw a frost cloth over that tonight. Time to put up some Christmas lights. Oh, actually... No, I need to cut these gingers down first. Ugh. Now, you can just cut these guys right down to the ground. But, uh, I usually leave them up a little bit just so that I know where they are. Huh, <sighs> done. Oh, no. Still need to get the cannas. This Alberta spruce, it's going to have to go next spring. It just looks terrible. It's old, though, so had a good run. Okay, done with that. I got some of this dead stuff cut out of the Alberta spruce, but uh, my clippers broke, so just going to have to deal with that for a while. I guess I should go ahead and mulch these while I'm at it, shouldn't I? Oh, by the way, these are still growing. Very unusual for December. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so just did a quick video on protecting the Great Myrtle. 
vlogging while vlogging. Very complicated. But, cans are protected, gingers are protected. These were the, uh, Scarlet Fire, Scarlet Fever gingers, I think. And those were Hidichi, um, uh, Fiesta, I think. So, either way, they're covered. Two and a half bags on there, and a bag for each of the cannas, and this was, I think, eight bags, maybe six, I'm not positive. <sighs> now that's done. Christmas light time. Finally. And here they are. I picked up these solar-powered LED lights. I don't know how they're gonna work. The colors might be kind of dumb. Sometimes LEDs are a mess. They get the colors wrong. My hands are still dirty from mulching. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set these up and see what happens. But since they're solar powered and need to charge, my guess would be we won't get to see how this works out until tomorrow night. I don't know. Here's our little solar panel guy. Looks like this has a couple of stakes on it. This is like a tripod mount. So this probably just looks like that. Probably just slides in like so. Can I do it with one hand? Aha! Nope, couldn't do it with one hand. There's the stake. Like that. And, oh, do I have to put batteries in this? Usually solar powered things come with their own batteries. Let's look at the directions. Alright, directions just say to hit the on off button. Oh, here we go. I guess they do that for a minute. I may have just lost all my footage. <laughs> I'm setting up these solar lights. Uh, camera turned off unexpectedly. So I don't know if that footage is still around, but here's the little solar panel. You can see you can turn it upside down, it thinks it's dark, and the lights start blinking. There's purple lights, that's weird. I don't know. We'll throw it on the tree, but I guess we won't be able to see what it looks like until tomorrow, so that kind of sucks. So if you're one if you were wondering, these are the lights from hell. Since they're on these little sticks, oh they are so tangled, fresh out of the box. And uh nowhere <laughs> near enough. So this is this is potentially gonna look ridiculous. But uh over here what what you doing? Okay. At least you know to stay on the patio part of the cover. That makes me nervous. You should probably get up. So over here I have lights on all of these guys. I put they're the multifunction lights. So for the sticks, I set them into the chase mode, and then for the two on the side. They're on steady, but this one won't stay in steady mode. So I think this is a busted set. So I'm gonna have to swap that out, but I'll, I'll try and get some footage of this at nighttime. I never talked about these planters. I'll do that in a minute, maybe tomorrow, because I'm kind of cold. The sky is really pretty right now. Sorry, distracted. But look at, look at how pretty the sky is. All right, I guess I should actually just go ahead and talk about these now. So these were kind of in last week's vlog. I put a holly on each side of this large pot, and these are... I keep the tags on my things now until I've talked about them, just so I can remember it. Castle Spire. This is Castle Spire Blue Holly. Everything here was picked up on clearance. So there's two of those. Two Castle Spire Hollies. This is a Sweet Bay Magnolia, which I think is Magnolia... Magnolia Virginica? Virginia? I don't know. Semi-evergreen here. And then a Silver King Unanimous in the front, and on the outside of each one of these, and then on the inside to Calipo Unanimous, just because those are the only numbers I had. I would prefer for them to all be the same. Maybe for them to not even be in there, but I wanted lots of evergreen. I wanted the contrast. It was all done with clearance stuff, so that's not the prettiest thing ever, but it'll do. And then down here, these guys are looking a little bit rough, but uh, yeah, these are Galtheria Procumbens. Low-growing evergreen shrubs, also called wintergreen, by the way, and they get these cute little berries on them. So I thought that those looked nice in the front. They'll look better once they adjust a little bit more to being planted, and those are a zone three, so they should be fine in these pots. Everything else is kind of on the border. In the front, there, uh, what is this? In the front of these pots, there's Creeping Jenny, Pansies. Just kind of whatever I had that I could throw in here. I don't expect 100% survival with the things hanging over the front. And if it gets really cold, then I will wrap the pots and stuff them with pine bark. And then these three birchwood poles. 
Now the reason that I have these birchwood poles here, one, it's kind of pretty, and two, because since this is only semi-evergreen where I live, some years they're, they keep their leaves all years, other leaves not. It's already been dropping some, so I don't have high hopes for it. But this provides a base for me to go ahead and drape frost cloth over the top. Should we drop below probably, I don't know, 10 degrees? Then I have something up there that I can drape the cloth over. And I wrapped them in white just because it's pretty. Okay? All right, all right, so we've done that now, and uh, I'll try and remember to show you what they look like at nighttime. It's not going to look great, though, since these lights won't behave. I need to exchange them for lights that will behave, because it should be solid, solid, twinkle. But instead it's solid, twinkle, and whatever the heck this is doing. Fading? I don't know. Okay, and can I just say, these cyclamen planters look so much better in the house than they did in that video. Now, the whole window is pretty cluttered from all the planters I've been doing. I need to start, you know, moving them around and whatnot, but they do look much better. Cookies are done! By cookies, I mean Brussels sprouts. Sometimes it's just vegetables are more fun if you pretend they're cookies. I don't know. And uh, some of you have asked for an amaryllis update. Well, there they are. They haven't done much. I have never had amaryllis bulbs that were so slow to take off. All the other ones I planted are blooming and... You know, looking great, but these guys, man, snails. They're also, it, this window's a little bit chilly. I should probably move them, but since the other ones are doing fine, I don't really know if that's the problem here. But my first guess would be that light and heat. So I may end up moving these to a warmer, sunnier spot, but I mean, the others are, the others are okay, so. I don't know. They're starting to do stuff, so hopefully they'll speed up soon. Uh... Hmm, so uh, these are dumb. All right, it, oh, no, there it goes. It's getting me safe. The one on the right starting to behave, but that's a lie. It's a rebel. I think it's stuck in demo mode. Oh, it is cold. Look at it dancing on the screen. It was actually 61 when I came out here. Got down to 17 last night, Fahrenheit. Chilly. Very, very cold. So with the fact that it stayed in the 60s in here, I'm actually okay with that. And I got the other heater up and running. I have two heaters out here, but for some reason when I run one of them, it trips my breaker a lot. They're on separate breaker switches, but... It has something to do with the Christmas lights, even though they're not on. I guess it's just them being plugged into the same thing. I don't know. I'm not an electrician. So I had the ceiling circulation on and the air circulation going on the ground to help move the hot air from up there to down here and blend things together. And uh, it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning, so hopefully it's just going to keep warming up. That would be ideal. And when I came out here this morning, this guy was laying on the ground, which is odd, so I assume that that meant there's an animal in here. And I thought it could have been a tree frog, because tree frogs usually end up in here with all the plants and everything, but, uh, it's a bird. Where'd you go? I don't know where she went, but there's a bird in here. And that's okay. Probably not ideal for the bird, but it had access to the fish food, because I left the lid slightly open. And there's water, so... It's probably warmer in here than it would be out there, but the problem is I don't want to open the door for a few different reasons. One, that if I open the door, it's going to probably drop a good 20, 30 degrees in here very quickly. And that's going to be quite the shock to the poor bird, wherever it is, to go from the 60 degree temperatures to being in the teens. So, I, I don't know. I'm not holding it captive, but... We'll see. I have to run some errands, though, because speaking of birds, I need to go to the bird store, the parrot supply place, and pick up some stuff for mine. They're getting low on food. They need some seed. They need some new toys and enrichment activity type things. Uh, one of their swings they chewed the rope off on, and it's just kind of dangling there, and it's that's dangerous. They can get tangled up in that and actually, like, hang themselves, so... Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm going, because I need to replace those things that they wear down after a while, and you need to switch up their toys often to keep them mentally stimulated, so I think I'll go do that. Maybe I'll bring you with me. You want to come? 
I don't know how exciting it'll be, but you can come. Made it. Just realized I could probably also pick up some stuff for the hamster while I'm here. Did you know I have a hamster? I have a hamster. His name's Tito. Go see what kind of fun toys they have in stock. There we go. Got a big bag full of goodies. Food, toys, cleaning supplies, their favorite ladders. It was awkward recording in there because there wasn't anybody in there, so it just felt kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, that's that's what I got. Do I need to go through it all? We'll see. I think I'm going to head to the craft store and see if I can't find some sand for that Neanthabella planter I did a few days ago. I'm home. The craft store was blaring Taylor Swift music, so I didn't record in there. I was at Michael's, and... You know, they're already demonetizing videos for no good reason, so I don't see a reason to give them a reason. And you can have, like, 20 to 30 seconds, I think. Uh, but you have to credit it. And I don't I don't know her music, so... That wasn't happening. But here's what we got for the birds. Picked up a lot of stuff on clearance. My little guy likes anything with bells on it. So he should like that. Got this thing here. It's just a cardboard box. It's basically when you buy parrots toys, you're buying them things that they can shred and destroy because it's what they love doing. Got this guy right here. It's made out of like loofah or something, but they'll have fun ripping that to pieces. This is a good one. They're going to have fun tearing that up. And then their favorite seed mix, which is the Nutriberry Orchard Blend, and their food really good food. It smells good too. It smells like pumpkin pie. They enjoy it. Got them a seed blend. This should actually hold them over for several months. Not the food, but the toys. They should be good for a minute. Who remembers this guy? Well, I said that if I could find the supplies to make this more beachy, then I would do that in this weekend's vlog. So, that's why I was at the craft store. Um, this is all they had. They had one other bucket, a little, what are these called? It's a bucket. They had a larger one that had, like, soda pop bottles in it, but it was kind of dwarfing the Adirondack chair. That's not an Adirondack chair. Uh, this is all they had to choose from. You know, I was hoping to get, like, you know, some tiny little glass crabs or something. I don't know, but you can add to this over time. It's all right. I'm keeping this. I'm not giving it away. It's too darn cute. So I'm just going to play around with this. I may have to uh, scoot this guy because I don't know that there's going to be room, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Oh, and I did top this off a little bit further with this Espoma Organic Cactus Mix for cactus palms and citrus. I really like this soil a lot. That's a good... You can see it's it's a nice, nice blend. Actually, I think I need to put a little bit more in there, so I'll do that now. Okay, and then this is the sand I picked out. It is just like an off-white color. I'm sorry, it's not sand. It's fine stone granules. Isn't that what sand is? I don't know. Uh, they had like a pure bleach white, which I thought wouldn't really work in there because it's just going to get dirty. And then they had one that was like your typical brown sand. I didn't really want to use that, so I'm going to try this one out. So here we go. Pretty much just as messy as I expected it to be. Shake it out. Give it a turn. Shake it out. Probably going to be some spillage here. I probably didn't need to put quite this much dirt in here. But uh, that is a very fine sugary sand. Very beachy. I might have to adjust my lighting for you guys to see this. If I were using my good camera, you'd be able to see this. There we go, look! Sand! Exciting, right? Now let's get to the cute stuff. And put the lid on here because, you all know, one time I don't do that, I'm going to knock it off and there's going to be sand everywhere. What color beach bucket should I use? There's a lot of tiny little buckets to choose from. Blue? Okay, this is going to be fun for somebody with big old thumbly thumbs. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I wish they had orange. 
Now that reminds me of McDonald's. It's, this is gonna be the same thing. I mean, that's kind of cute. I'm sort of liking the blue, though. And I can switch it out. Too bad I had to buy a whole bag of these things. Okay, so... Right here? Sink that down in the sand a little bit. Then where am I going to put the bucket? What about like that? Should I put sand in the bucket? I guess that doesn't matter. As soon as I water, it's all going to come out. But uh, that might be kind of cute. I can get the sand in there. Bubble back out. Pull the handle out so it looks like someone's been using it. Oh, I'm just destroying everything. Really need to get a new tripod. I ordered a new tripod for this camera, so hopefully in the next week or two that will get here. Okay. Chair's a little bit crooked. Okay, alright, yeah, this is some messy sand. Done. I mean, that's that's as much as I can do with this, because, like I said, this is all they had available, but ideally I'd have, like, a tiny little crab, or, like, a hermit crab, or some teeny tiny little seashells. All I have are these monster seashells. But that's okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled and can add to it in the future. But for now, I mean, I like that, I think it's cute. Would it be too much to have two buckets in there? What do you think? Two buckets is too much? I think it's kind of too much. It's taking away... It's taking away from things. This is really... I'm putting way, way too much thought into this. Man, these things are tiny. I don't even know if I can fit my pinky in there. Yeah, I can. Bucket thimble. New life hack. Alright, well that was fun. I'll keep my eyes peeled for new, fun, interesting things to add to this. And uh, I'm excited about that. This is where I have to wrap things up, though, because I need to get this edited. I hope everybody's doing well. This is maybe long, maybe short. I don't know. These The vlogs aren't going to be that long, the weekend vlogs, because I'm trying to do videos throughout the week, things that would normally be in the weekend vlog. So that's okay, though, because, I mean, good lord, at the end of, like, seven videos and seven days or whatever I'm doing, I would imagine you know, are probably pretty sick of me by now. I mean, hell, I'm sick of me. God, I'm so sick of hearing my voice while I'm editing. I hope everybody's doing well. You can follow me on Snapchat, Trop Plant Party, Instagram, Tropical Plant Party, and Twitter, Tropical Plant JC. There's Twitter more than anything else. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that button down below, give that thumbs up, comment as well. I love talking to y'all. It's always a joy hearing your thoughts and opinions and ideas it's so so much fun and i hope everybody's doing well so as always keep on growing everybody bye bye